And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We're still going with our standard gauntlet best of three run. Um, so far, we got our first two down towards the final or towards the prime glory. And so we got two more matches to go. Um, if you missed part one, hopefully y'all check that out. That was that would be the previous video that was uploaded before this one. <laughs> um, let's go and get back to it. I guess our three decks are going to be Ionia Victor, the Howling Abyss or the Abyss Control and Zoe Shivana. Those are our three decks. They're all defensive slanted decks um, built towards beating other aggro and midrange decks. So let's see how we do. All right, so we got uh, Lee Sin, Vi. That deck's good. Fiora Shen, that deck's good. Both those decks are pretty good. I guess I'm more scared of... I don't know. I, I'm scared of both of those decks. I guess it's Lee Sin Vi I'm more scared of. I don't know. Those are good. I'm hoping they ban this deck over here. <laughs> I want to play the two Hush decks. Yay! Oh wait, always lead Brom Trundle. That's the that's the that's the good luck. Okay, we lost this matchup earlier, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad matchup. Now, obviously, that's a horrible hand. This hand looks a little bit better. Okay, so in case, for those of y'all watching later on YouTube, in case, I may just actually just completely delete that last game that we just played. I, I probably will. This this will probably be the first game that y'all are seeing on YouTube, actually. So I, I probably should have um, done a little bit of intro before, between those. But basically what happened, um, we had one game where I was going to win, and I had a salesperson show up that was kind of hard to get rid of, and, and I ended up losing the game because of it. So I'm... And then the next game... Was a close fought game, but you know I, I ended up losing. But um, so I'm, I'm may just honestly delete that <laughs> and just start here. If I do, yeah, you can't make that attack. Not a bad avalanche. Sunburst could be kind of cool. I dance not to forget, but to remember. This looks like a little bit better avalanche, though. The other one didn't look like a bad one. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna be able to play Trundle next round either way. You know, like if they blade, so if they blade dance, I don't necessarily have to just block with Blue Sentinel. I mean, we could, but it's not really necessary. So it's four damage. I think I just take the four. I I prefer. Okay, so the question is, do you prefer to play Sharima or Targon with the Trundle? with Trundle, Braum, Abyss. I think Shurima's more fun um, because you get the uh, the Siphoning Strike, which is a Siphoning Strike with Howling Abyss is a lot of fun. I think this is the, the better deck for the current metagame, though. I think this is... I think you have just, like, more lifesteal, just more, more tools to defeat other... Um, other highly played decks and you have you have hush you, have, you just i think this is going to be a better deck but the sharima version is more fun this one has more a lot better interaction i guess that's the that's the thing you got great two drops everything's better with company says you says you So this is the round now for my Blue Sentinel to die, because then next round we'll have eight mana gems, so we'll be able to Ice Pillar next round. So I do want Blue Sentinel to die this this round. There's always a way out. Yeah. 
I guess they could just pass. They don't have to do anything, right? They can't even replay this card. But yeah, there we go. Okay. Sounds good. Ice pillar. Only four cards. That just heals our Nexus for one. So that's cool. I mean, I guess I should just block with Trundle. I guess I could just block with the Trundle there. If I lose this game, I will have done something very wrong. I'm not sure exactly what. But if I lose this game, it'll definitely be my fault. So I don't... It's going to be tough. So yeah, I, I should be at 10. I should have blocked one with the Trundle. And I... Guess I could be at eleven and blocked another one with the ice pillar. Turn aside. See, so, so, like I said, I'm, I'm comfortable playing this matchup. I did lose to it earlier. I'm, I'm comfortable with this matchup. Every blade, every beat in its place. The card looks scary. Is it the boosters? Who knows? What terrors must we face up here? Whatever they are, okay. we'll face them together, little blossom. They're doing stuff. They look angry. Stand yeah, they look angry. What we see. So. Align around me. Fight for the first land. Okay. So they'll be able to trade right there somewhere. <clears throat> so let's see. We're going to go there. There and there. Yeah. Seems perfectly fine. Take one damage. And they just have an Aurelia left. Don't think they can win it from here. I don't know, I guess it could be wrong. We'll actually just heal one. 
Um, it does mean that, like, my Braum doesn't have anything cool to challenge. But I guess that's just kind of how life is. Um, I guess... Okay, so I guess I could just go for lethal. Yeah. Ooh, Troll Gifts. Troll Gifts is what's up. Yeah, we'll just do that. Because, like, I, I could try to kill that with, with Trundle. But... Alright, so we got the first one. Trundle Braum. Yeah, this is the Howling Abyss deck that I love so much, even though uh, we haven't really done anything with Howling Abyss yet. Alright, so now we got to win one out of two with Zoe Shivana. I will be upset if we lose both of them <laughs> with this with Zoe Shivana. We shouldn't. Hey, Elola. This is the matchup that I'm more scared of, though. I'm more scared of Fiora Shen. All right, and turn one, Zoe. No, no turn one, Zoe. They are, of course, a sharp sight deck, though, and Zoe's not amazing against sharp sight. Young Witch. Okay, speaking of cards that are not good against Sharp Sight, Young Witch is right up there. I long for a worthy opponent. If only I had one more mana. Oh wait, this is going to go to four quick attack. I guess I could just fight it and kill it now. So they get the two for one trade, Come on, Rip. but so basically we both have five cards in hand. They just have a young witch in play, and I have two extra gems in hand. So not the worst spot to be. I serve my people with pride. Break them. And of course, keeping the two mana for sharp saint. So they got repost. No repost. Well. That's cool. That's not a good block. Because you, you just would rather have four damage on your Nexus than make my Shivana. Then like then grow the Shivana. Well that's annoying. Oh actually, you know okay, well. Speaking of bad plays, that was just a bad play again by me. Yeah, because now I can't have Concerted Strike. And that, yeah, that was that was a bad play by me. Yeah, because I forgot about the plus one from the, the Young Witch. Yeah, that was a good, good, Qu good Quinn emote by my opponent. Because now, like, I don't even have, like, the, the Daybreak enabled for Solari Priestess either. This was not good. Got bailed out. They didn't have their own sharp sight. I got bailed out. Good emoting by my opponent during all that. They didn't. They had some good emotes. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. Okay, still no repost. Kind of expecting repost. But they didn't have, you know, we had the hush. All right, victory. So we now got our third win. We are on to the final battle. What is this? Rare prismatic chest. Yeah. I kind of feel like I gotta go Death Ray, right? Because like my Ionia Victor deck runs some Death Rays. I don't play Suit Up or Prankster that often. The Prankster looks pretty cool though. 
Yes, the question is, why do you run two Strafing Strike in your list? And that's because I, I really want to defeat other aggro decks and other other unit decks. Because I think that those are like the decks that are really popular right now. Um, and so that's why I'm playing three Radiant Guardian, two Sa Strafing Strikes. So that basically my plan is um, in the mid game, you know, maybe even like turn like round two, round three, maybe take that off, save up spell mana. But in the mid game, I really want to have Shivana, Screeching Dragon, and Radiant Guardian, and I want them to be able to have fight spells, and I want a lot of fight spells because um, I want to be able to kill different champions and stuff like that. And so, so that's what I've my deck built to defeat other unit decks. Okay. I think I'm banning Jarvan Shen. It's Jarvan Shen or the Sejuani. Like, I'll play against Thresh and Asses. That's fine. Like, this deck can just have, like, like both of these can have really big units and be pretty big problems for, for this deck here, especially with, like, Battle Fury and everything. Like, these have Hush, but... And this one has Spell Shield also, and then they're all huge Overwhelm. I guess we're going to have to ban this, so uh, we'll have to figure it out against that other deck. No. All right, so always Braum Trundle to start with. Jarvan Shen is going to be a problem. Yeah, Overwhelm super scary. So Solar Priestess is not a round two blocker. I love the Braum Troll Gifts. Let's see. Okay, so they have, the, they have the attack token round one, round three. Is Solari Priestess too slow? Maybe it is. The thing is, like, if I Mulligan Priestess and we don't find anything else to play round one through three, I'm going to feel bad. But we, we basically have all the other two drops. So there's six two drops. Um, three Avalanche, so that's nine... A Kindly Tavern Keeper is 10, and Ice Shard is 11. We have 11 cards that I really want to find right now. So we're hoping we find one of those 11. Okay, we got a 2-drop. Good. It worked out. But the thing is, like, if we don't find any one of those 11, like, I, I need Solari Priestess. <laughs> you know? So, it, that's risky. Uh, Jay or Danny, I'm feeling very good today. How are you feeling? We're playing the Gauntlet, which is always a lot of fun. Spears ready. Cool. That's fine by me. I'll take the two for one with my little two drop. And then it also ramps me. It gets me to Braum earlier. I'm happy with that. We finally got the Howling Abyss. Are we actually going to Howling Abyss it up? You attacking? Braum on three. Always worry about Black Spear. Like, Black Spear does so much damage. And Black Spear can kill... Braum. I don't think they have anything for one mana. I think this is a safe block. But like next round, like I troll gifts, they black spear. That's where the problem can come in. So I like the Mountain Goat draw. Kind of gives them a chance to maybe tap under black spear. Yeah, that's tapping under Black Spear. My shield is my sword. We should be friends. Boo. That was a good card for them. So we both have four units in play. Or sorry. Sorry, we both had four cards, now five. So we both have five cards in hand. We both have three units in play. I have one extra mana. Wrap up tight. What are we doing here? Is this, is this Black Spear somehow? I don't feel like this is Black Spear. I can't stomp it. I mean, I can, I can flash freeze, but that's just not good.
Yeah, it's 100% Black Spear, but I guess I just let it... I guess it just... It just happens. And so I'm not going to use the gem on the Braum because it's going to die. It's really too bad we were so close to getting that level up so close. I know, I'm very upset about Braum dying too, Harvey. You're not the only one. The only way to play around it... It's like, yes, we could play around it. The only way to play around it would be to... Uh, take another 4 damage. Right there. Right? Like, just... And... So yeah, I could be at seven and they would have the four three. That's how I'd play around it. The cycle begins in it's kind of tough to do that. The trolls are going to war. Hey, Sparky. There's probably somewhere to hide. Probably. Well, I'd like to play Howling Abyss right here. Probably can't. What are we doing? So Nasus was still having voice lines there. I feel like once you hush a card, they can't have voice lines anymore. The waters give you life, child. Right, two out of six. We are nothing without each other. We're at three out of six. Should still hit Thresh. Rule them all. This could be a good Howling Abyss round. This Brom Trundle deck is sweet. Mm, I, guess, I don't know. I guess I'll hold that back. Like This is like the last round for like my Sentinel to do anything, like as far as like getting the extra mana goes if they trade with the 3-3, but I guess trading with the 3-3 makes it a little bit more difficult to block a Nasus or something, like they have Nasus and a Merciless Hunter, or, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just hold back. We probably don't need to go from 9 to 10 mana. We're probably fine. Alright, let's get some Prismatic Champions. Sure. Follow me. What we got? Leona. Okay. We can lead with Leona. Get a good day breaks done. Pass. I guess they only have one card in hand. Guess it's only just one card in hand. Alright, I'll play you later, Leona. Nah. Concession. Could be coming soon. I hope not. I hope we can just keep playing more champions. Alright, who else we got? Timo? Yasuo. Okay, going for the... Uh, I go with a road the Yasuo-Leona 
um, synergy. I like it. We got some good synergy together. Double stun. I was hoping for double stun. Silence you, Spirit Leech. Okay, we'll take the win. Now, can Ionia Victor get a win? We got a win with the good deck. Now, can our average deck get a win? <laughs> that's what I That's what I checked. So, Gloria says, what if you challenge and use Hush, their unit go back to the bench? I guess, do you mean like Hush my thing or Hush their thing? Because we tried Hushing their thing and it, it stayed there. I'm not sure what's Hush my thing. Uh, I guess, I'll, yeah, we'll keep scales. We want our two drops. Eye of the Dragon, Ballistic Bond. Death Rays can do some work. I love that, like, the progress day is important to go along with Death Ray. Uh, we saw that, like, that other game that we had, like, Triple Death Ray, that you just kind of run out of cards because they, they take up all your draw steps. So having progress days are very important of being able to continue to filter through the deck. The Emperor commands the land obey. Love it. Try to keep their card advantage down. So Percival is pretty cool with Homecoming. Tenacity through trial. We can like play it as a 1-5, it blocks something. And then Homecoming it, put it back in our hand, play it again, now it's a 5-5. Five five. No real reason to do anything right now. I will continue to pass the round. Don't test me. The good news is they're not slaying their own. They're not slaying their own curse keeper. Oh, Victor. With utmost efficiency. I was planning on playing some Percival here. And then like the MK that I thought I was gonna draw. Victor's at four. Incinerate. Can't really stop um, Black Spear either way. Gets to five. Rude. Kind of feel like I save Homecoming. Seven right now. So 
probably be homecoming that thing. So five cards in hand. I think I'd prefer to draw more champions. If I could choose. Basically any of the champions would do. forget about riding negation like not gonna lie I forget about that card like all the time yeah and it like always cost me <laughs> I always forget about that card it always cost me yeah cuz I could have played around that better for sure yeah I could have yeah I could have played a lot better around that card I always forget about it I don't really want to play a death ray right now. I don't want to make it easier for this thresh to be leveled up next round. Yeah, it looks like a level thresh to me. So I got some work to do. That's a risky atrocity. I, mean, I guess that atrocity doesn't even kill me, though, does it? Maybe I should just let that happen. Yeah, I should have let that resolve. I was thinking that that was like 10 plus the other 3 here, but then because of my lifesteal with the 2, I would have I gone down to 2. I wouldn't have died. I should have let that resolve. Yeah, I, I, did, I did that too fast. I realized that right after I put the deny up there, I realized that, wait, no, that, that too, I'm gonna, that doesn't kill me, and I, I should have let that resolve. No, no, no. Yeah, I really should have let that resolve. No, 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 no. That's, that's probably gonna cost me this game. Yeah, most people only play two atrocity, right? So yeah, so it shouldn't have another atrocity. You wouldn't think. They did. And that's game. Yeah, I really should have just let that happen. Um, yep. See, I, I obviously can't block this thing or anything now.
Yeah, big mistake by me. I think we had that if I just let it if I just let that happen. I think I would have had that. Cause like their hands like another Nasus and another atrocity, and I think I can I can deal with another Nasus and another atrocity with the, you know having both denied still and everything. I think I would have been fine. Oh, that's here. Okay, Serki. Serki says um, that atrocity, like part of the cost of casting atrocity, should just be that you sacrifice the unit so that even if it gets denied, the unit is gone. It's interesting. Okay, so no Fiora. Jarvan Shen. Not a good deny matchup. Basically, only uh, like single combat. Witness perfection, meat bags. Not a good deny matchup. And ready. Can't stop burst spells. River shape the land and give it life. Join me if you want to live. And go. Yep. What form will the waters take? That was not something I could really stomp, unfortunately. Fight with my spirit, not my fists. So we will get a dragon right here. What is gained when we return malevolence? No. One balance. Good hand. All right. Thermo. So we didn't draw the MK2. Either time. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Okay. You're in over your head. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Brother, fiery as ever, I see. A child's anger has become a man's will. Your attack is obvious. Stand firm. This is not good. My worst cards in this matchup are deny and nopify for sure, and we have three total denies and nopifies. Oh. not look good. Yeah, I guess I should block the other way around than what I did, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. This game's over. If we can't stop Shen River Shaper, the game's over and we can't stop Shen River Shaper. So therefore the game's over. Yeah, we basically have like single combat is the only target for these things. You know, maybe a concerted strike. Okay. Well, that's good. Cool. All right, that works. That works. Got River Shaper out of here. Keep them from just drawing a ton of cards. Um, my Nopify getting Nopify doesn't count for so Percival then. Okay, but our Percival's already at 10 out of 10, 10 anyway. Okay, good. Come on, a third deny? Good, good hand. Must be nice to have champions. That last game was the one that I needed to win. Like, that last game, I threw it by countering the atrocity. Right after I, I countered the atrocity, I realized that I can't do that. So, I, I threw that. Well, that was just super frustrating. <laughs>
And it was really, it was frustrating because of the, um, because of that, that first round that we lost that I, I really shouldn't have lost that other round. But uh, we did see that the, both the, the Trumbull, uh, the Braum Trundle deck, while I lost the very first two games to some amazing hands from really Zier and Thresh Nasus, that happens. It won all the games after that. Zoe Shivana didn't lose like that. I don't really lose that. That Zoe Shivana deck is really good. I my win rate with that deck is like ninety five percent. It's great. It's great. That deck's too good. Because um, you know, like the only the only thing that I can lose to that deck, it seems like, is like a really insole like bigger Targon decks, and I just ban the bigger Targon decks, so then it's good. Uh, but anyway, uh, then. It's the the irony of Victor, right? Like that's just like I talked about at the beginning. The irony of Victor deck is like very mediocre. It's kind of cool, you know. It's different and stuff, but th that's really like for the the slot as far as these that I, I probably should get a better deck than that one. Um, so again, you'll you saw all those kind of matchups that we're playing. We're playing we're playing against um, Aurelia, Zier, Thresh, Nasus, and a bunch of other decks that are all about attacking and units. And so that's what we got to find is like a third deck that I really like in those kind of matchups. I, I really like. Zoe Shivana and Howling Abyss, um, but I got to figure out a third deck because <laughs> the Ionia Victor is mediocre. So I'll, I'll figure it out. It it should probably be another Targon deck. Targon is still, in my opinion, just the best region by a long ways, and so it should. So I should probably be playing another Targon deck. It's just it can't be Zoe. Um, so I just got to figure out another Targon deck without Zoe, which that's not that difficult to do. Um, yeah. So all right, but there we go. That's. Uh, that's going to be it here for the gauntlet. Uh, didn't get the, didn't get the, uh, fourth win, but still that was a lot of fun. And that was a lot of very good practice, right? Like those games are intense and, um, it gives, just gives you some seasonal tournament practice. And I think that that's going to be, I think that's good to have. I think the last couple of seasonal tournaments, especially the last one, I just don't, I didn't really practice very much beforehand for them. And I think that's something that, uh, is, is good to do. It's good to be able to practice for those. And so that, um, yeah, so that's a good format to play. So I recommend playing that format. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you got ideas for my third deck, uh, feel free to put them out there, especially if it's like a Targon deck that's good against aggro that doesn't have Zoe in it. Um, yeah, feel free to, you know, can't have, can't have Zoe or Shivana or Braum or, uh, Trundle and it can't be Targon Demacia and it can't be Targon Freljord. So it's gotta be Targon something else. Um, with that stipulations but anyway that's going to be it here for uh the gauntlet so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video